You got to wait and see when the it's next set's just coming. Just the beginning. Just the yeah. Beginning. God Miranda, bless Dr. You. Kritzky as well. <laughs> yes, he's always available for, to us to talk bugs. Great yeah, guy there. Yeah. Well, we've had quite the cool down, but things are going to heat back up here. Yeah, we do have the steam returning just in time for the weekend. But, you know, to the cicadas, I'm not sure if you guys realize walking into the building the past couple of days, mm -hmm. even though the sun's been out, <laughs> they haven't been nearly as yeah, loud. Yeah, not close. Or Last week, out. not just flying in my face. Oh, well, that too. <laughs> just winding up in your hair everywhere. Things like that, right? Well, We've got heat and humidity surging heading into the upcoming weekend, along with the threat for some storms. That's right. It's going back to how it should feel here in June with summer like weather. So we're talking about the steam returning by the end of the week and the weekend. In fact, by Friday, you'll feel it. So we've got pretty comfortable conditions tonight and tomorrow to enjoy, and then it all changes on Friday and it turns downright steamy, if not oppressive for the weekend. And by that, I mean those dew points back up there around 70 degrees and it's also going to be a lot warmer too. In fact, we'll soar to the low 90s on Friday and over the weekend expect highs to be up there in the middle to upper 80s and when you factor in the humidity, yeah, when it's not raining, it's going to feel pretty oppressive out both Saturday and on Father's Day itself looking pretty sweaty out there for the dads. Now the rain threat. Let's discuss this because I think the greatest chance for rain really comes Friday night into early Saturday. There will be the chance for some a couple of downpours outside of that window, but it's really late Friday night, early part of Saturday, and then rain chances kind of dwindle for the weekend. Let's talk about what's happening tonight. High pressure has been in charge of our weather for the past two days as it's been scooting across the Ohio Valley. Well, now that it's heading to the east, our winds overnight tonight will switch back to the south and that will allow the more humid air to begin to make its approach into the area. I mean, look at these widespread, very comfortable dew points. This is the type of air where you can, you know, kind of let up the windows at night. It cools off nicely during the evening. It's very comfortable in the morning. You get these dew points down in the 40s, but you can see them starting to inch their way back towards 60 out towards the mouth of the Mississippi River, and that eventually is going to bring in that milder air and muggier air back just in time for late week. For now, though, very comfortable out 80 degrees at the airport. We've still got a little bit of a northwesterly breeze. Temperatures are generally around 80. Most of us are somewhere between about 75 and 80. Maysville at 79, 76 Wilmington, Springboro 78, Harrison 79, it's 80, and Versailles and Hamilton. So very comfortable evening. Another great evening to find a patio, head out on the deck, of course, maybe take a jog, do some outdoor errands. You know, temperatures very comfortable tonight. We'll tumble from the 70s through the 60s and we'll wind up into the mid 50s by morning. Here's a look at Futurecast. So it's quiet tonight, mostly clear skies. Another beautiful day tomorrow. Temperatures will start to warm up some. We'll be in the mid 80s tomorrow, but it's still comfortable out. Friday starts quiet and look at this. This is six o'clock Friday evening. We're still rain free. And then as we head into late Friday night, we'll be watching big complexes of storms, I think, dive out of Indiana into central Ohio. The tri-state, I think, will find itself on the southern fringe of any threat for stronger to severe storms with the best chance for right now, I think, is closer to I-70, basically from Dayton to Columbus. As you'll see here overnight, Friday into Saturday morning, the tri-state will dodge a lot of these complexes, but it will be an awfully close call, so we're going to have to remain weather alert overnight Friday into early Saturday morning, and then it looks like those rain chances go down some during the day on Saturday. So clear tonight, comfortable before all of that happens. 56 tomorrow, slightly warmer, still sunny though, 84. Here's a look at your day planner. It should still feel quite pleasant throughout the majority of the day. You'll start noticing that humidity creeping up late tomorrow night. And by the time you wake up on Friday morning, it will be quite noticeable by then. So again, it looks like most of your Friday is dry. We'll keep an eye on your Friday evening. I still think it's pretty hot and steamy Friday evening, but dry. And then overnight Friday, the weather could get a little rough into early Saturday and a pretty steamy looking weekend for Father's Day too, with kind of rain chances that are more hit or miss with the best chance most likely holding off till Monday. All right. Uh, I almost called him Steven. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin.